beautiful sisters. Welcome to HB Woman's International Ministry. You are welcomed here. This is a place where you will learn to believe, behold, and become all God's created you to be in whatever season of life. So if it's your first time, please do me a favor, stick around to the end of this video. I guarantee you, you're going to want to jump into the next study and be part of this family. We have been writing studies here in the ministry for the last two years. We do monthly studies. Uh, last year, they were on PDF handouts. This year, we are the number one new release on Amazon for Bible study journals. Um, this was our new release last month. We turned the PDFs all into workbooks, and what an awesome experience. I am absolutely loving this. I am so excited about a lot of things that I'm going to create for us women because when we learn to have a rhythm and routine with God, when we learn to journal and go on this adventure of faith with him and learn how to interact and have a relationship with relationship with him in our life, we begin to see the fingerprints of God all over. And that excites me. I hear testimonies on a daily uh, basis, women either direct messaging me in Instagram or Facebook or just personal letters of what God is doing. And this is all over the world, from the UK to Germany to Africa to Mexico, and then all over the United States. We're almost in every state. So that is exciting. God is at work. So what are we leaping? into, I had to say leaping, into for uh, September. Now, when I use the month and I say September, I want to use this as a guided adventure right now where we are right now in the ministry. But remember, you may be listening to this because you're interested in the title that you saw in the YouTube thumbnail, which was fully relying on God. Here is the cover of the new book. So if it's September of 2024 or it's in May and you're interested in this video, you're always right on time with God. There's a reason. So whatever you're hearing me share today, we just may be in another study in the ministry, but we're doing the same rhythm and routine, if that makes sense. So what you can do is head over right here to heatherbaxter.com and in the top where the pages are listed, I'll usually have the month that we're in and the Bible study that's going on. You can click that and find out what week we're in, what study we're in, and you can join us right then and there if you're watching this video later. For all of my ladies that have been on this adventure and just experiencing God right along with me and uh, the ministry, we are going to be launching our next study on September 26th. I know we're like crunching it because Amazon is in the review process for the book. I'm hoping the book is actually up by tomorrow. And you know with Amazon Prime, you can have that book on your doorstep and like within a day. So I'm gonna talk to you about all that because again, if you're new, I just kinda wanna make this an intro video for this next study. First of all, we'll launch the new study called Fully Relying on God. It'll be a four week Bible study journal. Um, I have the pages to show you here. I don't necessarily have the book in my hand right now because I'm just waiting for Amazon to finish, but it'll look like this. It'll be a workbook like this, but here's your pages. Now I have um, already used the past workbooks. There is no bleeding. The highlighting is awesome. Your pen and the way you write and take notes is beautiful. The binding never came apart. Everything about the workbook is very practical. I loved it. I used high quality pages, always will. Um, and the size I love. And now what is inside? What is inside the book? There's four weeks. What we do here in the ministry is you will get week one. Here is an illustration of what week one looks like. In week one, we will have one overall theme for the whole week. The overall theme for the whole week is how to rely on God's promises. So the book study is to fully rely on God. That is what we want to do for this whole month, for four weeks. But for week one, we're going to really look at how to rely on God's promises. So we have seven days, right, in a week. So I don't put the days of the week on there because some ladies, me included sometimes, I may be on Wednesday and catching up on day one, two, and three. So I just label the days, which are in your lily pads here, and you can kind of figure out what day of the week number one would be. That will be our Monday. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you have a weekly routine. 
On Monday, I will always put a teaching out on YouTube, Facebook. You'll see a teaching and I usually go through how to use your note pages. Here's an example of your note pages right here. You have a reflection page and you have a soap method page. Soap meaning you're going to read scripture, you're going to um, create some observation and some application, and then you're going to pray back scripture. You'll really learn how to break away, break down scripture, verse map, um, look at the content and the context of the scripture, where it just the characters that are in there, and really be able to pull yourself into scripture, also using the HB Ministries Bible Code chart, which is right here. I teach you that on Monday. I teach you how to study the scripture. We really look into that together. So then on Tuesday, you get to practice on your own, and I give you an idea how to do that. It doesn't matter if you've never studied the Bible or you've been here for 80 plus years and you love the word of God, God will speak to you here using these rhythm and routine worksheets, really getting you into the relationship. The idea here is we're not doing a long Bible study where you have seven pages to do and hurry up and get ready and bring it back to class. No, you are studying one theme for the week and you're going to break that down in seven days with bite-sized pieces of scripture. You're going to marinate in those scriptures and watch what God moves around in your soul. Your soul is made up of your mind, your will, and your emotions. Every day we have a will of our own or we have the will of God. And we learn to discern that and break that down and see what God is trying to say to us. Amen. When we lean more toward God's will for our life, it really helps our mindset and it helps our emotions. And so those worksheets and this daily rhythm with God is going to help you settle um, and feel an inner peace in your soul. Amen. And so like, for example, in week one, on Monday, we're going to talk about the wonder of God, the wonder of God. On Tuesday, we're going to meet God at the table. What does that mean? Meeting and supping with him. What does that mean? Relying on him for food, the bread, the word. We need physical food and we need spiritual food. What does that mean by meeting at the table? We're going to talk on resting on your lily pad. What does that mean? We're going to talk about learn to wait patiently. Learn to rely on God. Rely on the spiritual power. And then also in this awesome journal, you get Sunday sermon notes. So whether you're watching a sermon online, which I'll share with you, or you go to your church home and you take notes, I always believe God confirms something with another speaker or with your message on Sunday. You'll begin to see it all come together. Now on Wednesdays, um, right in the middle of the week, I have a podcast right here at the Beautiful Messy Show. And on that podcast, whatever season, our season is our Bible study for that month, um, which I call a series on the podcast. And I have little episodes to match that. So usually four to five episodes to match whatever Bible study we're doing every Wednesday. I will bring a word with whatever you're studying that day, that Wednesday, your verses. So I'll bring something and you have room right in your notebooks, here's a page, to take notes on whatever you're learning in the podcast that day on the show. Fridays, Fridays we meet right here on YouTube live stream. What does that mean? We come together all over the world. We leave comments on where we're from, that we have our workbook. We talk to each other. I even like to know how the weather is. It's really funny to see where, it's really fun to see where everybody's coming from. And then I um, go ahead and I bring a teaching and we interact with each other right there. So it's really fun to just come together and hear a corporate teaching where women all over the world come. You can also watch the replay on that at any time and take additional notes. Sometimes I speak on your, your verse for just that Friday or I'll do an overall for the theme for that week and you can take notes and walk away and then of course you can catch up on Saturday do your Saturday verses Sunday is sermon Sunday then we start all over in week two week two I'm fully relying on God is as I zoom down let me pull that up week two we are going to jump into the theme is how to have reliant faith, how to have reliant faith. If we're learning to rely on God, fully rely on God, how do we have reliant faith? So for seven days, we're going to talk about shifting our focus. We have to learn to shift our focus. We have to learn to tell God everything. We have to learn to take action over anxiety. We have to know that patience equals God's peace. 
Well, how do we learn patience? That's a tough one. How do we grab advice when stuck in a swamp? Where do we go? What does that look like? What does the Bible say about that? Be aware of the flies around you. That's week two. Then we're going to go into week three. Again, you have seven pages of personal reflection and studying the word of God. Again, fully relying on God. Week three, we're going to talk about stop worrying and start trusting. And that is the battle we have. Our flesh allows us to spider web and, and, and worry and think out of the box things that have not already happened. I don't know about you, but I can create a story and start worrying about something that does not even exist. And so how do we start trusting and start creating a vision that does not exist, but believe in that? And so that week we're going to start on, we're going to talk about letting yourself um, hope in God. We're going to talk about verses all around that. We're going to talk about pray to stop worrying. There's actually prayers to help us stop worrying. And sometimes we just need to step on those. Really step on that lily pad of, I am not going to worry. So week four is about leaping forward, leaping forward with a vision. Even though it's hard to see, we've got to hang on and leap into those visions. So we're going to forget the past. We're going to think big frogs. Think big frogs. I'm loving that. But we're going to think big frogs and set our minds to think that. We're going to tell ourselves that we have to have continual growth. And continual growth is sometimes that season of relying on God. How do we embrace the future? How do we think servanthood? And how do we get about, get off our little lily pad if we're just stuck in that season of thinking? We think too much, right? So this is the four-week study. You get a wonderful workbook. That workbook now becomes your spiritual journal. How awesome if you go back six months, you know what you were fully relying on God with, and then see God answer with whatever the next Bible study that you're in, what you can do is look back in all of these and now they become your journal. So you're not journaling in one book, Bible study in another book, um, maybe your to-do list in another book. My goal for 2023, because remember I said I was gonna tell you that, is that you would have a workbook that is the better you, no, the better me in 2023. Now last year it was the better you in 2022. This year will be the better me in 2023, and you're going to learn what I always teach every January is how to set up your whole life wheel for the entire year. And then you can see what kind of the seasons that you're in around your wheel of life, which could be your relationships, your work, your job, um, a child, your marriage, maybe a change in direction, a change in a home, a change in location different things, but how do we match what's going on in our life wheel with the rhythm of heaven? And that's where God wants to speak and help you, help you line up truth and walk in where he has, walk in the will of God that he has for you, the destiny he has for you. So many times we walk in the directions that we choose and this will help you line up. So using the two workbooks and coming along with me in January, it's going to be all on that workbook. Also, coming in November are gratitude journals. Oh, I have a fun theme for November. You're going to want those gratitude journals. I'm working on those already now, so they're available very soon. And in December, we are going to do the Advent calendar together. Very, very fun. And then, of course, January, the better me in 2023. And then we roll out with all of our Bible studies for the whole following year. Um, super fun. And I have new things coming for 2023. Really, are, we are going to start some core groups in your area. You may be a leader. And these core groups are you coming along with your church or with you and studying the word of God, using these workbooks and breaking them down. So God is doing some great things. I'm excited about the core groups coming. So hang on. Um, I have the name for those and everything. I kind of throw those out a little bit. You might hear me talking about it. Um, but yes, it's all coming. So heatherbaxter.com, please, 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 please go to the website. At the very top of the website, there's an area for you to subscribe. You want to subscribe there for the weekly newsletters. The weekly newsletters will let you know new release dates, what's coming, what to do, invites to invite your friend, free recipes, all kinds of fun stuff. So you definitely want to be subscribed there and come along, come along with this new Bible study calling fully called Fully Rely on God. I promise you will love it here. Um, so hey, I'm challenging you to leap in and join this month. I love you beautiful sisters and I will see you for the first day of the Bible study.